Hey YouTube, this is Goth, the King of the with another guitar on site. <clears throat> so my last video on my ACDC channel, but I got it customized. <laughs> Just laser move to show off my huge arms. You know. And it says Goth across these awesome skulls. And then below that we got Hell's Bells. Got two bells, one right there, one right there. So for those about to rock, we salute you. And it says, DC right there, and then, and that says, um, AC, and then the DC over there, and that says Hell's Bells, and then it's got the little lightning bolt in the middle, and then they got two bells right there. The rock on sign and ACDC. For those about to rock, we salute you. And this is Goth across your skulls. I figured, you know, I'm not gonna make a shirt like this in a million years, so I thought have fun with it. Anyway, my last guitar inside, I talked about a couple of commenters. Just response to the comments, really. That was all it was, you know. <clears throat> And one of the people I mentioned that commented on one of the last videos responded. I'll um, pull it up <clears throat> on Guitar on Site 44. Oh, I'll stop the video. Okay. <clears throat> Rab Crosby commented two hours ago. At no point did I say I was good at screamo, dude. Okay, it's not screamo, it's metal singing. Screamo is when emo's tired of scream singing, but that sounds like shit. It's okay. He also says, at no point did I say I was goth, which I am not. That was, you know, a mistake on my part, I guess. But He also writes, the Paramore cover wasn't my thing, dude. It was my friends. I was playing drums for them for their Battle of the Bands because they didn't have a drummer. That was cool of him, I guess. You know, that's really nice of him. Not only that, but I am a death... He's in a... He says... He says oh, he also says, Not only that, but I am in a death metal band in which I am the lead vocals and guitarist. Cool. Give mad props for that. And finally, just to make myself clear, I fucking despise Paramore. Only did it to help my friends. Um, okay, and I wrote back, my bad dude, that's cool that you're in a death metal band and that you helped your friends out even though you despise the band. It's the truth, you know, I guess, you know. Oh, this many comments, if he wasn't over, okay, if he's not goth, then who is he to say what goth is and isn't? But, whatever. But I was watching a video and I heard, um, what's it called? Um, Symphony Metal. Oh my god, it's like Symphony Orchestra mixed with heavy metal. Dude, it's freaking awesome. Epica, Indigo. Oh, beautiful song, man. Love it. I like to see, like, Create a little filth and Epica do a joint concert with like Evanescence and um yeah let's see get Create a little filth Epica Evanescence and um who else and um, Nine Inch Nails call it Goth Fest like Oz Fest only for Goths <laughs> that'd be cool. That's nine inch nails. So you got like some skinny puppy, maybe. <laughs> some Malin Manson after that. So a bunch of goth metal bands come together and play for a show. Call it Goth Fest. That'd be cool. So, um, Rob Crosby, um, I'd like to apologize. I just assumed by your video that you were. A drummer for that band and whatnot. My mistake. Thanks for informing me. And 
Good luck with your um, death metal man band there, man. Um, death metal is pretty cool. Well, people tend to think screamo is the new label for emo to try to scream singing, where they whine, you know, emo is emo metal when they sing, and they try to do shitty scream singing with it, and they call it it's called screamo. So you know, people think everything is screamo, kind of like people think everything is goth, everything's emo, blah, 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 but it's not. And when I sing, I'm not singing screamo here. I'm saying full blown metal lyrics here. It's not screamo. <clears throat> Death to the conformists. Take the ring off, make it easier to play. Death to the mainstream. <clears throat> oh. Unfortunately, my voice is a little dry right now. It's my throat is, so I can't do um the Danny and Phyllis streak as good as I usually can. So. <clears throat> Oh look, I have some peach tea right here, this gigantic coke thing, yeah, I can, coke bottle, and you know, that coke thing, um, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> now there are several kinds of commenters, three in particular, one, negative commenters I should say, the people who negatively comment on your channel by cussing, calling you all these nasty ass names, calling you a freak, calling you this, this, and this, just complete ignorance and cussing because they think it's cool. And then those commenters who negatively comment on your channel negatively by using intellectually long and overcomplicated words to make themselves seem more intelligent than they really are. And those people who insult Justin Bieber on every fucking YouTube video. Now, I'm being hypocritical because I do insult him a lot, but only when it's funny, like when the timing of the video is right, you know, just to be a smart ass because I don't like his music. But just insulting Justin Bieber and nasty negative comments about Justin Bieber are like fart jokes. They're really funny, you know, if the timing is right. But if you keep doing it over and over and over and over again, you know, on YouTube, especially, it gets kind of old. So, let's <laughs> with your friends and then you do a fart joke that brought up good times and good laughs, then yeah, I guess it's funny, but you get the idea. Also, <clears throat> parents who, um, oh. okay, a school shootout happens, and it's the following, people are crying, there's dead bodies everywhere, bullets, shattered casings, all this other horrible shit, and the parents of the shooters are targeted in the news. Can't believe your son or someone's like your daughter did this, this, blah, 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 blah. And they're all like, oh, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? They panic, so what do they do? They blame the media for their son's problems. They don't blame the fact that they didn't raise their child better. They blame the media. Let's see, they're going to blame violent video games, guns, musicians, artists, actors. But really, not the cause. Guns don't kill people. People with guns do. A gun just sitting there is not going to kill somebody unless you aim the trigger and poof, pop them in the face, you know? That's kind of like suing the tobacco company for giving you cancer when you chose to smoke or use tobacco, you know? Just saying it's kind of hypocritical and ridiculous. I don't know. So really, all I'm saying is that blaming the mass media for your child's bad behavior when you were in total control of your child to begin with is kind of stupid. It really is. And that makes it even worse, because what they're doing is... They pin the blame on the mass media, you know, the usual suspects that people like to blame and shit like school shootings and whatnot, the guns, the violent video games, the violent musicians, whatever, you know, the hip hop and all this other shit. <clears throat> what they do is they, they distract people away from the bad parenting that they raised their child to be, and then people, it all just has caused more controversy that doesn't be needed. The parents who do that need to take responsibility and say, yeah, you know, my child. I should raise my child better, I fucked up, I'm sorry, you know. That way it's not causing controversy that isn't needed, you know. <laughs> kind of 
kind of like when parents act shocked when little celebrities that they see on Disney Channel grow up and act go all crazy like Miles Cyrus's recent experience with the Salvia and whatnot. Um, you shouldn't be shocked like shit like that happening because once your conscious Disney Channel expires, you're free, basically. <laughs> so it's bound to happen, you know. What's next for Miles Cyrus's sex tape? You know, that wouldn't surprise me knowing how shit like. So, well, knowing how celebrities like her play out in the celebrity world. It'll be like, you know, some 13 years later, she's like in her late 20s, and people are like, it's come to service of Miley Cyrus sex tape. People are shocked and surprised. It's like, you know, celebrities like her who grow up with no childhood, like Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus, and they're adults, they're free to be do whatever the fuck they want because they're celebrities, you know, they get trouble to slap on the wrist. And then people get all upset and when it happens and people act all shocked and Miles Cyrus acts all pissed off. It's like, you know what? You should have been filming that shit if you didn't want it to resurface. So no one knows if they're going to be famous or not. So you don't think when you're making this text tape that, oh, someday they're going to be famous and this might cause jeopardize my career. But whatever. <laughs> It's like all these, you know, and people are shocked and Maya Cyrus made his music videos all in the news. Her um, Can't Be Tame, I believe is what it's called, I'm not sure, video where she's all dressing slutty and provocative, her first slutty and provocative music video. So now she's 18, she has that option because if she would do that when well, she's underage, people think there's something wrong with her parents, but there is because um, I was watching the Sylvia bit on the news yeah, two days ago in the morning, Billy Ray Cyrus's tweet was, I can't believe my daughter Miley is smoking salvia. I've lost all control over me and my wife are in the middle of a divorce. I just have no control over her. I'm like, don't, okay, this is a classic example of being a bad parent, even though salvia is not dangerous for you if you do it in a safe environment. But all the same, if you want your daughter doing salvia, you know, try to at least you know, stop her, you know, it's okay until you will, but it wouldn't hurt to try, would it? But she is also an adult, she is 18 as of December, that's what the news article said, so... I don't know, man, you gotta like kids be kids and make their own damn mistakes, and then they realize maybe if they have enough sense, if you raise them right from wrong, they know not to do certain shit. And then the other day, I was at, um... A couple months ago, I was at Walmart, you know, just browsing around, whatever. And I saw the game Red Dead Redemption. I'm like, oh, that game looks fun. It does look fun. And so, but the only problem is, my parents only well, have mature rated games. The ones you let me have, it's a miracle. But I'm 19 and, and I can, I'm plenty mature enough to handle the games. But they want because the, my little sisters who are three floors above me sleeping. What the fuck, you know? It's not like I couldn't just pause the game and turn it off as soon as they come in the room. And they don't come in the room to begin with. Anyway, but, whatever. Anyway, I saw some eight-year-old. He looked like he was eight years old or whatever. And he said, yes, yeah, someone's buying me that game for my PS3 or my Xbox or whatever. And I'm like, what? That kid looks like he's in fourth or fifth, sixth grade. And he's not old enough to be playing maturity games. And you wonder why we have so many fucked up kids in our society. Because when you're at a certain age like that, you know, your mind's like a sponge. You absorb shit like a baby's mind, you know? <laughs> And, you know, it's ridiculous. So, if your son or daughter's the one that's the difference between reality and fantasy, you know that the games like Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto, which I know you don't do the shit like that in that, in that game, you, that's, that shit stays in the game, not in real life. If you can determine that that game is fantasy and the reality is, if you do that shit, you're going to jail for the rest of your life, basically. And you get a shitload of trouble and it causes people a lot of pain and shit, so. That's why it's M for mature, you know, a little M that says 17 or older, but even if they're 16 or 15, it's the, it's the difference between fantasy and reality, you know, if they know that, then maybe they can play it, but whatever. It's a lot of shit is what it is. This is gothic, you know, what you wish. Taurus, ah!